So I came on today to talk about my problem with people, people in general. Um, my whole life I've had a problem being around people. Um, they've given me major anxiety. Just made me feel strange, although I've treated them all nicely, because I think that that's the way you should carry yourself. Um, they've been uncomfortable. At one point, I wasn't even able to go out into public for most of my younger years, but that could be PTSD, you know. There's a entanglement there from abuse and, but also consciousness as I got older, as I became a teenager. Took a lot of hallucinogens and stuff. So any of those things could be a factor. But now, um, I just realize what human beings are, okay? Every time you interact with a human being, they are reacting to you or interacting with you for something that they want or that they see might be a desire in the future. Now, some people are just nice, but people that you actually have to interact with to work with or whatever, they see a benefit in that. So everywhere, the motive is, what is this person? What is their value? What can I get from them? And that's why, you know, people with more money and like big neighborhoods always have the most shallow uh, friendships and communication. That's like the top of the, the tip of the iceberg that no one gives a shit about. And it's easy to avoid. But it's not just that everyone wants to get something. It's that there's nothing to get. It's that they're so easily fooled by whoever they look up to, whether it be celebrities or politicians or whatever. They're all teaching lies. Uh, everyone's living according to them. You know? Or even uh, um, academics. They're just dropping ideologies in people's heads, and then they act them out. The media does the same thing. In the 80s, it was all about, you know, African Americans, they sell crack and they're dangerous. And they commit crimes and crack's terrible. Um, now it's white people. They just want to, uh, you know, they're all racist and they've done this to black people. Uh, all of this is lies. And the shame about black folks is a lot of them haven't figured out, you know, because it's so easy to change history. It just takes like a fucking generation. You just brainwash them, and then the next generation thinks the world is what it is. So imagine how much damage the Romans did. Because they didn't have technology. But it's... I don't know. I don't know. It's not that I don't like people. I just don't like to deal with them. And I've been attacked by so many of them, and it's because of their ego. It's not because of anything else. It's just they, they're unconscious of it. And you could say, well, maybe you should be smarter about how you interact with people, knowing their ego. And I would say, I can't. No. They need to wake up. And, you know, I think a lot of them do. But that doesn't mean I go without the, you know, the suffering, being shit on, attacked, or being stolen from. Um, so... We're supposed to love people, we're told, right? Love all people, treat them. But I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're supposed to hold them accountable. <clears throat> Especially if you really want the world to change. Everyone wants the world to change, but they don't understand that it happens individually. There's no politics. There's no culture. None of those things are going to change it. Do that on an individual level. All the rest of it's kind of programming. Um, but... People want to treat other people that don't think that and don't go along with it like shit. So <clears throat> it's hard to think that it'll spread. It's hard to have hope in that way, I guess. Um, but that's not even why I don't want to be around people anymore. I just want to be alone. and always have been. I love being alone. I guess that's hard for some people to understand, but <clears throat> in a way this is a hell because I'm forced to 
be around people because I have to work and I have to support myself. This isn't a world where you can just choose to be alone and have the necessities, you know? I don't know. I thought I was going to say something profound. I don't think I have anything profound to say. Let me walk around a little bit. People are unaware of the spirit, and they're unaware of evil. Another, another like academic, you have common sense, you don't believe in religion, and you certainly don't believe in evil. Although evil is to be observed everywhere, uh, not questioned, and, and you can run that through the scientific tests. And spirits, well, they're part of everything. You have an addiction, you got a spirit, they attach on to you. Maybe you don't see spirits, but if you try to kick an addiction, you'll see one leave or try to hang around and wait for you to do something else. That's how they get, that's how they get energy through that. Um, you have an anger problem, you got a spirit. Um, I know personally because I don't have an anger problem, but I've been asked for that energy from spirit since me. And I don't blame them. Um, I, I know that there's there are dark entities and dark spirits on this planet, but they're part of the earth. They were here with it way before the, our consciousness was here. And that's fine. It's just, there's evil that controls them and traps them and has them work for them. Another thing with people is they just misinterpret everything and they never really think, I mean, depending on where you live and what the culture is, only if you abide by that culture will they treat you accordingly, right? So it's like, I don't even mean culture as in you live in a different country. I mean, like, I live on the West Coast where everyone's passive, which is the disease of the ignorant, passivity, right? People react to you not even saying anything. So someone could be cooking bacon in the kitchen that doesn't really know me, and I come in and say, oh, you're cooking bacon? And they'll think they're saying, oh, that person's a vegan. They don't like this. I have to put it away. But why would you do that when you could be direct? And why in someone's house would you ask them not to cook something? And why, 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 right? None of it makes sense, but this is the way it goes. It goes the same way, like, oh, God, the norms and stuff. I, uh, I was friends with this uh, kid from Switzerland, and we used to go out together. And we used to talk to girls and stuff, and he'd be like, man, why, why are you so, like, short and quick with girls and I'm like because I don't want to play games with them it's not like we have to have sex you can either be straightforward like you like me I like you or not and I'm not playing games because I don't need to have sex with people you know and he's younger and he didn't understand that and maybe at one time I did but not anymore um, it's a shame that people don't understand the role that the spiritual plays and it's always at play. Now, people say that everything happen, happens in the spirit verse before it happens here in the material. But I don't know that for sure. Um, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, thanks for listening.